Today we are going to create a work of art using the color wheel and the color schemes that we talked about yesterday and the day before. Um, on the back of the color wheel that you created uh, yesterday, you are going to write the definitions for each of these color schemes. These are listed in Canvas, so you can just um, pull that up and write those on the back of your color wheel that you created yesterday, okay? So on the back, once you get that done, um, you are going to draw an eight by eight square on your piece of paper or on your sketchbook pad. And I would like for you to leave a space up at the top so I am just going to leave that space and just kind of draw a line there. And then I am going to measure out eight inches this way and eight inches that way. And I am going to come about a fourth of um, an inch, a quarter of an inch off of the side so that I have space to write um, on either side here, okay? Because you are going to need to write on the sides. So please leave a space all the way around, and I'll show you that. So I'm just going to Okay, so once you have that, you can, you know, clean up your little lines. Okay, now I am going to write the word color wheel, or excuse me, color schemes up at the top. Okay, that's the title. And then I am going to make a diagonal line from point to point, corner to corner. And then I'm going to make another diagonal line from corner to corner. Okay, I am now gonna make a vertical line that intersects at the point. And I am going to make a horizontal line that intersects at the point. We now have eight sections and we are going to title each one of those sections. The first one in the upper left hand corner is going to be primary. The second one, secondary. Turn the paper. This one is going to be tertiary. The fourth one will be warm. I'm going to turn my paper back. And this one is going to be titled cool. The next one, complimentary. Then I'm gonna turn my paper and title this one, Analogous. Okay. And the last one is monochromatic. Oops. <laughs> Okay, monochromatic. Now, you have the definitions for each one of those color schemes. 
So um, you don't, that's not necessary to write all of this down um, again on this paper. What I would like for you to do next is to create a pattern. Now this pattern can be done asymmetrically, making it abstract, or you can make it symmetrical and do the same design all the way around. So either way, you are going to create a pattern that follow, that flows from every section, okay? It needs to go and uh, cover up every section, whether or not it's symmetrical or not. You see that I have at least four, three to four uh, circles in each one of these sections. I have a wavy line that runs through each one of the sections and a zigzag line that also runs through each one of the sections, okay? So it is very abstract, but at the same time, it is uniform because the same kind of lines and the same shape is in each one of these sections, okay? Don't leave it too bare because you are going to be using color to color in each one of these color schemes corresponding to the title that you have placed. Now I drew um, over mine in black just to keep the, the sections separated. So when you start coloring, if you have that black line there, it helps you stay within that section. Once you begin to color, you are going to color with the corresponding colors, okay, for that color scheme. So here, primary colors, I only used red, yellow, and blue. And notice that I made um, this as visually interesting as possible by coloring each area created by my design with a different color, okay? So I don't want to see you coloring um, like an entire section just red, yellow, and blue. Don't color um, over your lines, color within your lines, okay? So this one is secondary, using the secondary colors, orange, green, and violet, or purple. Tertiary colors, I used all six colors, which you should be using all, all of the colors that are within there. Uh, tertiary, you are going to use all six colors, which are red, orange, yellow, orange, red, violet, blue, violet, yellow, green, and blue, green, okay? Then you have the warm colors. Warm colors are like the sun or like fire. They're the oranges, reds, and yellows, okay? Cool colors, you think of the sea or um, any water, grass, the sky, things that um, tend to be in cooler uh, tones. So you've got all of the violet, purples, greens, blues, okay? Complementary colors. This is the one where you do not have to do mine, but this is when you need to look at your color wheel and decide which one you want to choose. So you can do what I did and use the yellow and violet, or you can go straight across this way and use orange and blue, or you can use green and red. Okay, so you get to choose which complementary color you want. I chose purple and yellow, okay? Now, the analogous colors, you need your color wheel again. They are the ones that sit next to each other on the color wheel. I used the analogous colors of yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, and blue, violet. And you can see all of those colors represented here. So remember you're choosing three to five of the analogous colors. Now for the monochromic, monochromatic, which is the last one on your color schemes page. You will choose a color from the color wheel. I cho chose red violet and another name for that is magenta. So um, I took my um, red violet magenta color and I colored some of the sections and left it just that color of magenta. Then I also used 
various tones, tints, and shades of magenta in this because it is one color, which is the magenta or red violet, and you add black, white, and gray to create various tones, tints, and shades of that one color. So looking at this, you can see I've added black, I've added light, light, light gray. This is a medium gray. This is also a medium gray. I used um, white and some, well, that was with white. Um, and I also used white on that one. So you can see that I have changed the appearance of this one color just by adding tones and tints and shades to it. And that is monochromic, monochromatic. So when you are done, you will have a color scheme page similar to mine.